My husband and his controlling actions are tearing our family apart. Steven is consumed by our girls' well-being. Steve and I could not even go out to dinner because we always bring up the girls, and that creates a big argument. When they were younger, the girls would sneak out. I don't think sneaking out was terrible. I just think it's part of being a teenager. He says to me, you're an idiot if you think that. I don't want to be in the middle, as always, and be the punching bag. I was always the middleman and the punching bag. It was my responsibility to make sure the girls knew the rules, even though he was the one who actually made the rules. Growing up, the girls would not be able to go to their friend's house. Steve would send me to drive in my car and check to see where Victoria was. Steven wanted to keep my ovarian cancer from the girls until my hair started falling off. Our marriage right now is consumed by Victoria. It's argument after argument. One of the things that we don't agree on is the relationship between Victoria and the baby's father. Victoria is not allowed to go to the boyfriend's house and spend the night. It's not like she's gonna go see random men. My big concern is that if I ever tell her something that I don't agree with, I feel like she will just say, forget you, you're out of my life. Steven blames me. He says, the girls turn out like this because of me, but I don't think it's my fault. It's his fault. Okay, Lupe, I'm glad you're here. Um, you. Do you think that Steve has bad intentions? Uh, no, I think he's overprotective. What do, you, what do you two think about what I'm saying to your father about you being ill-prepared by him overprotecting and, and sheltering you, that he's cheated you out of certain things, certain competencies that, that you would otherwise have picked up along the way? I feel like I am trying to catch up with myself. Everything was always so overbearing and I feel like we were just kind of thrown out and we didn't, we don't know anything. But you're kind of in a catch-22, right? Because you say, okay, I did overprotect them so they do have gaps in what they know. Mm -hmm. So now they are vulnerable, so now I really need to protect them. Right, but I have no control and I just release that control except uh, when Victoria tries to maintain this relationship. There's a list of 15 or 20 things, uh, maybe even 50 or 100 that she's told me about her current boyfriend and there's no way that you could listen to all the things that she's told me for almost a year and a half, two years, and then suddenly, oh, I love him. And I already know that there's some things that have happened that where he's basically threatened to like not give her financial support if she doesn't live and sleep with him. Uh, to, um, That's not true. I've heard arguments on the speakerphone where she tries to break up with him a few times and he just basically whines and throws a hissy fit and next thing I know, they're uh, back together again. So, uh, but I, I basically don't try to control anything right now other than from the perspective of I don't like your current boyfriend and if you want to live in my house, then I, I, I just... But that's crazy. I, I have can't. a child with him. Right, but you don't have to live in my house. And even... And, I ha and like, I've told you I want you to live in my house. Yeah, and so I said I, I won't live in your you... house anymore. Okay, if so that's how you So then you're pushing feel. me away to the place you don't want me to be. 